everybody. It's Tyler here at Championship, checking in team number 1678, Citrus Circuits, number two in the FRC Top 25, number one, our hearts, of course, here at Citrus Circuits, looking absolutely phenomenal. Uh, they are approaching the streak of 23. They're at 22 consecutive regional wins, and also, I think, seven now division wins as well, too. Citrus Circuits is absolutely incredible. Take a look at the robot this year, what they have to offer. I love the wide intake that they're bringing into this. We'll be talking about that. Their arm and elevator, and of course, the implementation of the forks coming up here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your educational robotics needs. From mechanical, electrical, tools, and hardware, Animark has over 200 years of first-team experience and offers high-quality and affordable solutions for the robotics mobility and competition markets. Head on over to Animark.com to get started. Kettering University has over 25 pre-college camps and learning experiences available from computer science and engineering to inspiring future women engineers, leadership development, and first base camps for first graders to graduating high school seniors. Magna and GM sponsored camp fee scholarships are available. Email ctaylor at kettering.edu for more information. You know, let's start off on your robot talking about the intake. Like I said, I love robots that are bringing a super wide intake to it, so I'd love to hear about the implementation. Notice you got a little bit of a risk going on too, so talk to me more about some of the composition of this robot here for Citrus Circuits. All right, so our intake was probably the portion of our robot that we did like the most iterations on. So we really prioritize having a wide intake with just touch it, own it, rolly grabbers, uh, just a very wide acquisition zone. So um, we've gone through maybe like seven full iterations of this intake. So uh, back here, we've got this gearbox, which just keeps the CG low. Uh, it means that we can drive power to this wrist over here, uh, just from a distance with this chain. Um, and then just, we have this pivoting point up here at the very tip of the, like we call it the wrist. Um, and then just the front like end effector of uh, the intake went through a lot of different changes, but it's heavily based on the EveryBot design. So all of our cones just come through through these top two rollers, um, and all of our cubes come through the bottom jaw of our intake. Um, and one thing that we just made sure to do was that when this bottom bar hits the ground, we always have one preset spot so that we can just grab cones and cubes from the same position off the ground, uh, just directly, easily, touch and go. Um, and then another thing is just that we experimented with some carbon fiber for just these cross beams. Uh, we actually ended up snapping some of them in our previous regionals. Sure. Uh, we also just found that there wasn't enough rigidity. The entire intake like started to like slope or just like tilt a little bit. Uh, so we actually ended up switching to aluminum crossbars, just as what we have here, and polycarb on the bottom, just to keep it light. Uh, we really tried to minimize weight on all of this, keep the robot uh, like center of gravity as low as humanly possible. And for these rollers, we also like replace the traditional like compliant wheels with just like polycarbonate uh, tubing with just silicon wrapping like floated over it. Looking at uh, for this as well, when you're looking at uh, scoring in the field, uh, obviously you bring the versatility of ground versus station as well. Do you have a preference typically when you're playing the match? Right, so we actually prefer uh, in taking from the single station so we have our human player just drop our cones so that they land vertically in front of the station. We can just go in, grab, get out. Brennan's going to be talking more about the arm and elevator as well, too. So I'd love to hear more about what's gone into that and maybe show a little bit of demos on how all this process works, too. That'd be great. Absolutely. So for the arm and the elevator, everything is powered as low as possible. Again, as Keena said, a really important part of this robot design was to keep it everything as low as possible. We really wanted to make sure that our center of gravity was low. In this game, we see a lot of til really tilty bots, and we're really trying to avoid doing that. We need consistency in all of our matches. So beginning at the bottom, down here you can see gears here. This is a custom gearbox that we made that's mounted onto a, ver a max planetary setup that basically is giving us a ratio of 250 to 1, including the sprocket extension. And that is enabling us to not only fork, as you will talk about later, but move our arm up and down with really a lot of confidence in that what it's doing will be getting exactly where we want it to be every single time. In order to prevent us from having any issues with backlash, we actually shimmed all of the gears in this gearbox. It was just shim tape to keep it well. 
Now here you can see the elevator right there. This is a continuous elevator setup akin to how other teams did it in 2019 and 2018. We chose a continuous setup just because it's less strings and overall it's a less complicated design. Really trying to again focus on simple and consistent because the more failure modes you have, the more opportunities you have to lose in a match. And we're really trying to make sure that we're putting out our best performance every single time. And then the last thing is, instead of doing a grooved spooling thing for the elevator, we instead have string guards here and here, as well as a guard inside of the tensioner there, in order to make sure that we're keeping all of our strings self-spooling and making sure that everything will stay consistent, however, without having to take away rigidity from our center spool. I want to wrap up on this robot and talk about uh, the forks on it. You're going to be covering that. Uh, one of the things, you know, when we saw your uh, reveal video come out and the teaser, or just full reveal actually this year come out for it, I mean, obviously this whole, we just saw the whole operation happen, forks come out, bam, a lot of excitement for that. Now we've seen other teams start to adapt to it as well, which I think is a great way of talking about inspiration that Citrus has brought uh, to the community. But, you know, when I look at this first, I think like, oh my God, it's like a battle bot coming in uh, on this as well. So talk to me about how this has worked out for you. Uh, where did you like come up with it? And uh, any, like, have you improved it throughout your uh, process yeah. as well? Try to get those times down in regards to actually doing that triple for yourself. Yeah, so I used to start off how we actually got the idea. Um, originally, we stole this design sort of from the 2019 game. If you, uh, if you remember, it's a very similar type of game, right? You balance on top of a platform. And we basically wanted to minimize the amount of space that a robot took up. So we looked at a couple of 20, 2019 buddy climbs, and we saw one design where they actually slid pretty similar type forks um, under their partner robot that was already up. And then they used that to sort of hang off the edge. And we thought that was really cool. Um, I guess moving on to our actual implementation, uh, we simply have these forks bolted onto the arm like Brennan already talked about, and that gives us a couple key advantages. The first one is that it's obviously not a separate mechanism. You don't have to control it independently, have more wiring, have more motors, have more weight. And the second advantage is that since our elevator actually drops down along with the forks, we instead of having to lift our entire 90 pound robot, we only have to lift the drive base, right? Because this uh, upper portion is already mm -hmm. in position. Um, I guess talking about some of the improvements that we've made to the forks, I guess the one thing that we changed coming into this competition is to sort of shorten them a bit. Originally, they were about four inches longer, and we found that made it a bit difficult to uh, actually line up, yeah. especially on the uh, side that's closer to the wall. It was a bit of a squeeze. So now we've shortened them, we've cut them down, and now we're able to climb on both sides and climb a bit quicker. Last thing I just want to ask you, uh, I always love the naming schemes that Citrus brings every year. What's the uh, naming behind Tangerine Tumblr this year for y'all? Uh, Tangerine Tumblr is sort of the name that we collectively chose because we every year we try to do a fruit uh, type name for our, since this is the second robot we brought, the first one was the Tangerine Tumblr, went to my name report. This one we've actually nicknamed the Avocado Annihilator internally, right. but in the publicly Tangerine Tumblr, fruit, shape, fruit named alliteration, you know. All that fun stuff. Absolutely. Well, Citrus Circuits, congratulations on another fantastic year so far. Of course, we're excited to see how you do here at the World Championships. Uh, but really appreciate you taking the time. And thank you for all the inspiration that you bring to the first community as well, too. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Kettering University has over 25 pre-college camps and learning experiences available from computer science and engineering to inspiring future women engineers, leadership development, and first-paced camps for first graders to graduating high school seniors. Magna and GM sponsored camp fee scholarships are available. Email ctaylor at kettering.edu for more information. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your educational robotics needs. From mechanical, electrical, tools, and hardware, Animark has over 200 years of first-team experience and offers high-quality and affordable solutions for the robotics mobility and competition markets. Head on over to Animark.com to get started. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.